During the engagement, community members were given the opportunity to comment, ask questions and share challenges in their constituencies. Where responses could not be given, immediately the assurance was given that officers, ministries and agencies would be made aware of the concerns and issues raised through consultations and by tabling their reports, this one, in the National Assembly for discussion. Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Members, after completion of this outreach program, letters were written to eight ministries highlighting the concerns and challenges of the constituencies visited. I'm happy to report that the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Defence and Veterans Affairs have responded positively <coughs> on the concerns raised. Wishing Considering the concerns of community members from all the visited constituencies in the Ohangwena region, the delegation recommended that the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture collaborate closely with the Ministry of Works and Transport when building schools and clinics. Yesterday, this collaboration today, aims to ensure provisions for road access, especially in hard-to-reach areas, as well as guaranteeing portable water at schools and clinics. Several members of parliament made valuable contributions. Whether schools, whether hospitals, whether housing, whether clinics or roads, we cannot even manage to get a budget that can complete it because this is tax. But if we take, if we maybe said how to control our mineral resources, we'll be able to solve all these problems. The bottom line is to add value here. And how do you do it? That's the question. I think we need to ponder on that one. How do we add value so that these mineral va uh, resources becomes profitable? And then we can build the roads and uh, build the clinics and uh, solve the problem of our people.